All right. Let me in. All right, it's the Yugagi crush. Um, okay, so this is what he's gonna be. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. He's running over all? Wait, okay, can I see that one? That's not all spirit. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, he's running over all also. Tilt strike slash, which is probably the main protest target here. Okay, never mind. I thought that was something different. I thought that was Spirit of Fire. Okay. Oh, yeah. Just... Spirit of Fire is pretty type in its own way. Uh, brandish. Okay, this seems fairly standard. I mean, there's nothing that blows my mind here. I think the As most interesting thing is uh, having two finishers. But Agreed. Um, I think it's purely just to play around the... Um... The possibility similar. of similar, yeah. Yeah, because I mean, it's just too game losing, I guess. And it makes sense, in my opinion. I mean, to. Because um, I mean, if he just has it, then you just lose. If he knocks one of you, the only special your finisher, you just get put so far behind that it's just. Pretty sure you don't need to put on turn. I'm pretty sure that someone else could do it. Uh, anyway. uh, yep, yeah, he's going to open with F1, pretty standard, looking to get into that as quickly as possible. FD, do I think I had the one damage? Yep. He analyzes, uh, it's either you force them to put a card from their hand into their discard pile, or you deal one damage, or you take a card from their discard pile, and it's just a random effect, depending on what the card is. That's solid against Jirina. Solid against Jirina. And these are probably... Well, Sophism is probably divine every time this game. But we will see. Alright, Miasma coming out. Yep. Okay, for the numbing. Yep, yep. See, basic action one, right? Yep, no basic actions allowed. Awkward as Karu and Shinrix, you want to hold cards, but... Mm, okay, he's going for the focus, because he wants to develop his uh, enhancement. Yeah, I mean, I think this is pretty standard. Just, yep, uh, he's standard. got the enhancement, and he's got the big goal, so he needs to focus quite a lot. Agreed. Could A again to uh, lock the sophism, assuming I'm hoping his opponent doesn't do the same thing. Oh, did he discard? Or has he pulled sophism? I don't recall. I don't believe so. Uh, Not yet. Alright. So, yep. Passes over. He's not going to be able to reach him. I'm, not, I'm curious to see if he just opts to handshake. The focuses or wants to approach more here. The approach is rather risky because you, when you're playing in this matchup, you want to force Shinra to go to R8, so she has to play the Sophism because that makes the hand more awkward. Because then on his next turn, if he moves to R8, then she just plays um, Sophism. Then I guess that feels kind of bad, but he would have to discard a card in this situation, so it actually might be worth approaching in this situation where the poison is in his hand. Yeah, usually in this in this matchup, I like to. Uh focus so that I can rush in. Yeah, F3s. Okay. So, yeah, F3 is really good here considering he has two finishers. Maybe looking to potentially play both of them if possible. Um, so, it's actually really interesting. And considering that, and this is also really important for this matchup as well to understand, is that Aura is far less important for Shen than it is for Snake. Because the punishes on aura damage are almost non existent. Yes. So, in fact you, you want to uh, lose your aura so you can move up faster. Exactly. So this is a very important key in the matchup. Um, that you have to do is aura is not important. And actually if there if there's no shadow down, then he can just straight play overall as a three uh, aura attack. If there's no no aura, no shadow. But that's tricky to pull off. 
Yeah. Yeah, very good knowledge uh, from Shen, knowing exactly the matchup, because you wouldn't really see. Pulls the Sophism, uh, can't play it though, it's very awkward. Um, yeah, that would, that, like I, I was saying, that's my usual maneuver here against Shinra, because you know the Sophism is going to be at range 8, so you just try and dump your aura so you can move up as much as possible on the next turn, and possibly even duck out of Sophism range, depending on which characters you're playing. Yes, that's true. At least if uh, Shinra moves up to range 8, or closer. Oh, discards the Sophism. That's not something you want to see in Cycle 1. Cycle 1, you almost always want to get the Sophism mm, out. If he's planning on popping the throughout, though, then Sophism becomes less dangerous. And at this point, like, if he Sophisms the next turn, it's not going to hit any cards on, from his deck into discard, so it becomes less valuable. Yeah, I'm just saying. I mean, wait a minute. Now that I think about it, he just pulled Sophism, so he opted into um, mulling away his Sophism, which is rather interesting. Focus battles. I feel like you're usually better off holding Sophism if you're going second. But okay, all I'm coming out. This comes out very quickly. And we're staying at R nine. Um, uh, this way, he gets to recover. I just realized. <laughs> Does, will he? Will, will Shen get a chance to um, overall into Mistbane? Potential. Oh no, there's one in Shadow now. Yeah, there's one in Shadow, so maybe not. Well, he has to get to range four or lower to overall. Oh, uh, is Mistbane? What's Mistbane's range? No, Mistbane goes up to six or seven. Overall is only range yeah. four, though. Oh, the attack is four. Yeah. Mistbane. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, never mind. That card's not as busted as I thought it was. Three to seven. Okay. Yeah, not quite. So yeah, I think uh, it's time for uh, Shen to start closing the distance here. Um, it's a good opportunity to do it. It's as good um, as he's going to get, it seems like. Unless he yeah. really is just going to let Snake focus as much as he wants. Yeah, it's not ideal, so... I mean, A5 honestly doesn't seem terrible. I think A5 is fine because he still reshuffles that one card. So if he does it that way, uh, it is a dump. It is a resource dump. But I mean, this is something that needs to happen eventually. So Let's see what he does. And he has a lot of dead cards in his hand anyway. He won't get to play any attacks, which is I'm sure he's that's uh, rather disappointing for him. Um, but... you could move up five and then hit with the slash, right? Um, well, yeah, but you then that would dump your whole hand, yeah. and then you would have an awkward reshuffle, which is never worth it. Um, I disagree. Sometimes it's worth it, but not for not for just a three one though necessarily. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, it's no, I mean, it's never worth it in this situation. But yeah. Plus, you. Probably don't want to dump attacks into the potential sophism. And what's the what's the devious on the sophism? Oh, that's right. He hasn't triggered anything yet, so that's pointless. Um, but the devious on sophism is you can choose a card in your opponent's play pile and play it. Ooh, Although, in in theory, if he had the reaction, in, which he does, and then he redrew Sophism, he could do some devious play. Yep. Looks like... Oh, yeah, he holds it, so he does A4 instead, which uh, is fine. A4 is completely fine here, and holds just the one card. I just think the key was making sure he held one card before he reshuffles, which is going to happen, so... Snake takes his first reshuffle here.
And protest doesn't really work here, right? Needs to have two or more cards, and then he puts one to the scrap out, right? Or mm, how does that protest go? works okay here because it ends up okay. causing extra damage because oh, they right. have to draw a card and their deck is empty. Also, if he um, if he pops his enhancement this turn, then protest his one to life, as well as canceling an attack. And odding out the deck, which is something Shinra was trying to avoid by holding one card. Wait, so he doesn't have enough for the enhancement, I thought. Right? Um, I think it only costs two. Let me double check. Uh... Really? I thought it was way more expensive than that. Here. Oh wow, that's really strong. What the heck? I thought it was like four. But there's no shadow right now, so the enhancement would siphon all Zora. That is not something you want to do. So, not likely this to happen. Is now the only card on the sand pile? Uh, yeah, Miasma. Or maybe he tried to seal that, I think. Oh, well, I guess, yeah, the flare goes in first, so the enhancement's not mm -hmm. as bad as it first looks. But, no, nah, if, he's, if he's focusing, mm -hmm. or recovering here, then that's not happening this turn. Are we going to see Seal open up this turn to Seal Miasma? No, but we're gonna hope is that if he ends this turn here, that Shen doesn't draw. Um, overall, or it's gonna be a very sad game. Mm, overall, Shen would have to burn all his aura for it to immediately prog. Yep. Worth. That would take four actions. <laughs> Never mind. I keep forgetting what was wrong. That way. You would like to try to seal either cut down or kunai throw, right? Um, definitely kunai throw. And he doesn't have cut down, but um. Ah uh, no! Oh, slash. I mean, sorry, <laughs> I missed. <laughs> cut down is Saini. <laughs> yeah, that's a three-one for Saini. Oh, okay. I thought you said kunai. Right. No, you said kunai and cut down. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so, I mean... Hmm. Okay, yeah. passes the turn. And we're going for the reshuffle. There's Shenra. Shen. <laughs> Shenra. Excuse me. <laughs> nice <Yeah>. fun there. <laughs> Not a great draw, I don't think. Uh, you don't really. You the slash off, though. Yeah, you don't really care about concealment here. Um, got five aura. You might see overall drop, depending on whether the slash gets anything here. Okay. Oh, he draws a card. Yep. Not not a bad one. What does he draw? He draws my asthma, so he can drop the. Uh, it's an interesting one. Hallucinogen or muscle relaxant. I'm trying to think. What do you think Snake's looking to seal here? It's either what? Slash or potentially Miasma? I don't really know. Uh, I don't think he's... Slash. I don't know if he cares slash so much about Slash. Though. I think what he, want, he wants to seal is the things that punish him for having no aura. Like uh, Kunai or... Or Brandish, maybe. Although he does have a step reaction for Brandish, because he can cancel Slash with Protest every time. Ah, uh, yeah. Overall, cool stuff. This actually allows him to advance even more. This is really good. Okay. Discards the Miasma for a basic. And he's too close for sophism, so oh, but he's got the acceler, so but no enhancement to yep, because he hasn't developed the only enhancement he has yeah. in his deck is the throughout and 
and he has no way to um, pop the aura off of off of Shen. So, oh, he's gonna Feel opt to that. burn two of his own aura here. Does he want to keep that in shadow? So now he has to discard one of his cards, right? Yep. It'll be the same. Oh yeah, he wants to keep that in shadow so he can recover from the big golem. Well, that that works out about the same actually. I don't know if that makes a lot of sense. The only reason to keep that into shadow would be to do a a uh, master step, but even then, it works out the same way. There will be still three three deaths right from upper up upper right. Yeah. So how does the wait? Can you hover the special again? It switches, so... Oh, not that one. Which, what do you want me to hover? This? Big Golem? The, oh, yeah, Big Golem, yeah. Uh, oh, he may have triggered Big Golem here. That's a good point. Actually, I don't think he has another throughout out. Uh, I don't think he has another throughout in his split pile. Okay. There's no way, yeah, no way. He's just working out which basic action he's going to take from doing the throughout here. And it looks like he's opting for a master step. Yeah, that sounds good. Ah, uh, this, this has the potential to be so much damage. Okay, so yeah, yeah that makes response. sense, actually, thinking about it, because he was going to lose all his aura to overall anyway. He had no way to get through. Yeah, Shen's in voice and it's naked, in it, so can't even see one side of a conversation. No. Was this? Oh, this is gonna. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is going to hurt. So. Oh no, that's not Kunai Throat, is it? No, that's Concealment. Oh, thank God. Dude. He's got Concealment there, and Yo. but he does have oh. the Brandish, which is going to hurt. Oh my gosh. If he would have pulled Kunai Throat, Brandish, it would have been six. He hit life. He has Brandish, and he has Mistbane, and he has a uh, Hilt Strike. So that's throw? that's potentially five to life this turn. Or six with Tsuchikake Grass. Focus three, uh, oh, yeah. Brandis and Tsuchikake. And that would be... But he can six. Yeah. theoretically do more damage with just Mistbane and Normals. I like the conversation going on. Yeah. And and Mistbane resurges because uh, Snake's holding two cards. Oh, uh, yeah. Also, can he end this in R2? Yeah, he can definitely end this. Well, maybe. It's going to be hard. But unfortunately, he can't end this in R2, so he will have to eat the Sophism. Most likely. Mm, he can do the 2-2, two, two, then mm -hmm. do the Mist Bane, then move up one by discarding Concealment. What? Oh, oh wait, no, by, by discarding Concealment and focusing one. Yeah, I wonder if it's worth it for him to do that. Most likely, right? Because he probably knows right, that Sophism's in his deck, and that's probably something he wants to play around so it can't go into the played pile. But we'll see what he does here. Yeah, he hasn't seen the Analyze drop yet, either. Ah, he's too good. It's illegal. Wait, no, he's not playing Brandish. Yeah, I don't know why he's not playing Brandish here. Unless he's just going to go for the, the crush. I don't know. <laughs> okay, here comes Miss Bane. Yes. Also, Let's something worth mentioning really is good. that neither of the characters that Snake's playing uh, really have, like, these nasty... Oh, he doesn't go for Brandish. Okay, doesn't really have these nasty uh, finishers, right? So it's not like, oh my gosh, they have a bunch of flair, they're going to one-shot me. It's kind of like, you know, that's definitely a notable lead. Yeah, oh no, he's, he's going to play Prove the Nature when I'm at 9 life. Um, <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, that's kind of something interesting as well about these sort of control S characters. They don't really have these finisher tools. Well, Very curious, though, to hear why he didn't opt for Brandish. Yeah, when your opponent's wide open like that, it does feel like a missed opportunity. Maybe he was concerned about some sort of special retaliation. Not sure what options they have that could even work here, though. He's already provided enough flair for the simulator, but um, I think he's mostly just playing around Prove the Nature here. He hasn't seen a lot of Snake's cards, and um, could very well be sitting on a number of enhancements and there's not a lot of shadow here so he can just if he had a bunch of enhancements and he had enough flair to pop prove he could just dump them all immediately almost
Although, that would also make a bunch of shadow when he plays Proof of Nature, so... Well, no, it wouldn't, because it goes on to Proof. Uh, we're looking at Argue coming out here. Um, yep, which is two to life. Yep. Which is dangerous territory. Yeah, maybe maybe he's this. keeping the uh, the brandish in hand to kind of help guarantee the crush later. O T K. That's what he's going for. Because this way, uh, this way, if Snake takes the brandished aura, then he can follow up with Suki Kage crush. Interesting. Uh, that is actually probably what it is. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, it's pretty smart. Shows a lot of control from Shen. Shen's definitely one to hold his cards when most people would opt to play them. I've definitely seen that a lot from his matches. Always on a little bit more on the passive side. I wonder if he's gonna R through. I mean, not R three. Um, was resolve. I haven't found a shortcut of saying resolve yet. And the analyze coming down. Yep. Which is gonna pull the sophism for another life ping, and then a golem life ping, and a reshuffle. Evening out the game, except for now you have Urena in fury mode. I love the love seeing the one side of the conversation. Yes. No. Yes, oh, no. ceiling. What are we ceiling? Not brandish. Uh, let's see. Ooh, overall seal. Interesting, interesting. That is not the card I expected to be sealed this game. Yeah, especially considering the overwhelming ability of Snake to hit life. He's got Golem, he's got the Sophism, he's got Actually, he doesn't have Sophism right now with his enhancement up, but... Well, he's eating a Kage Crush this turn, almost certainly. It'd be crazy for him not to play Kage Crush. Yeah, because he's not worried about any specials anymore. Oh, not worried what? about any cards in Snake's hand. Is this lethal? Hold on. This actually is most likely lethal. Yep. Yep, this is lethal. Yeah, that's game. Because he's gonna, I think he's gonna just drop his aura to zero. He's gonna get Suge Kage Crush and Mist Bane, so I think that's it. Yeah. This is little. Because even because he has to take the brandish, yeah. Because he's can, oh, can wait. Can concealment mess him up? Mm, he's no concealment won't be enough to mess him up. He'll still be in range. Right? If you get the, you the last piece of aura off, you can conceal to Kunai. Uh, yeah. Or rather, uh, no, just... you don't need to do it that way at all. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. Go backward once and just attack with Kunai throw. Yep, he doesn't even need to miss Bane. Uh, but he can miss Bane and Kunai here, right? Oh, that's a kunai? Oh gosh, what a disaster. I didn't even think that was kunai. Yep. Oof. Yep. Uh, good match, good match. Um, I think the way... I really like the way that Shen played his opening rounds. I thought it was really smart. Um, shows a lot of control and uh, attacking at the right times there. Yeah, I don't think um, Snake was anticipating playing the... Uh...